It's like a leaking sieve in Washington. But we learned nothing about the Biden bribery scheme or special counsel Robert Hur's investigation. Robert Hur is doing the Biden investigation. He's a very respected, very nice person. Very nice person. Mine's not such a nice person. Mine's a deranged lunatic, <laughs> which are many times the magnitude of ours in both number and severity. That's the prosecutor that they gave. He has found nothing. He totally exonerated Mike Pence. I'm happy about that. Mike did nothing wrong, but he happened to have classified documents in his house. But they uh, exonerated him. And uh, Biden is a different story. I mean, so much. You have to really think about what I said as a senator. He took all of those documents. It's unprecedented. The prosecutor in the case, I will call it our case, is a thug. I've named him Deranged Jack Smith. I wonder what his name used to be, Jack Smith. It sounds so innocent, doesn't it? Jack Smith. What's his name? Jack Smith. He's a very nice man. He's a behind-the-scenes guy, but his record is absolutely atrocious. He does political hit jobs. He's been known to viciously arrest a certain governor. You know the governor, Bob McDonald of Virginia, and absolutely ruined his life and the life of his family all these wonderful family members, I knew them, only to have the case overturned eight to nothing by the Supreme Court. He destroyed that man and he destroyed that family. And by the way, I will tell you, I'm here and I love you all and we can take it. But what these thugs, what these thugs have done to my family is a disgrace. I will tell you that. I say it to all of the fake news, because there's a lot of it back there. What they did to my family, and that young man right there, he's answered more subpoenas than any human being in the history of the world. And you know what? They have nothing after all of those subpoenas. Literally thousands of them. Congress, fake councils, Mueller report, all of this, all he did is answer subpoenas all the time. At least he's become very experienced at that. Congratulations. But Eric is fantastic, and what he and Don and Ivanka and the whole group, that's what they've gone through, and these are serious people. These are serious people, but what he's done to my family, what they have done to my family is horrible. He also tried to railroad John Edwards on a completely bogus legal theory that didn't hold up in court. It's no wonder this raging lunatic was shipped off to The Hague to prosecute war criminals using globalist tribunals, not beholden to the Constitution or the rule of law. Two things Jack Smith clearly disdains. You take a look at this guy. He looks like a thug. But then I watched him make a speech the other day, and he was trembling because it wasn't his territory. He feels much safer in the inner sanctums of the Department of Injustice, where he can be in his room and scream at people. He's a raging and uncontrolled Trump hater, as is his wife, who also happened to be the producer of that Michelle Obama puff piece. It was total puff piece. This is the guy I've got. Don't forget this persecution is being done by the same weaponized agencies that for seven years have been running illegal psychological warfare campaigns against the American people, much as if they were trying to destabilize a foreign country. From the Russia, Russia, Russia hoax to the no collusion Mueller witch hunt to impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two, the 51 lying intelligence offers, how about them? They said it's Russia disinformation, and they knew it wasn't, which made about, according to some of the great pollsters that are right here, made from anywhere from a 10 to 17 point difference. And yet we still got more votes than any sitting president in history in the second election. And we actually did much better in the second election than we did in the first election. The fake dossier paid for by the Democrats. How about the fake dossier? Remember that one? You think that was easy to go home and say, hello, darling, how are you, when they read about that? It wasn't easy at all. Spying on my campaign, we caught them spying on my campaign. 
the FBI, Twitter files, and so much more. It's all been a battle of disinformation, one thing after the other, and all to protect the radical left misfits. It's also no coincidence that these charges against me came down the very same day. Evidence revealed Joe Biden took a $5 million bribe from Ukraine. Took a $5 million bribe. But the FBI and the Justice Department don't even want to talk about it. They showed something on television tonight. It had zero time on the three major networks, zero. But my uh, impeachment had almost all the time. I think I had 351 minutes. They had no minutes, OK? I think a lot of people are going to vote. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to vote. I will tell you, I just left Miami, and I've never seen love in the streets like that. I've never seen it. We've seen a lot of love. I've never seen love like that, because they know, they know what we all go through. They know what we've gone through, and they see it, and they're smart. And, you know, many of those people coming from Cuba, Venezuela, other countries, they've seen this happening to their countries. I used to say that the United States, if it keeps going this way, it's going to be Venezuela on steroids. And now we're buying oil from Venezuela. Can you believe it? We have more liquid gold under our feet than any other nation, but we're buying tar from Venezuela, and we're refining it in Houston, the dirtiest, worst oil probably anywhere in the world, and we're refining it. So you can imagine what's going up in the air and our beautiful stuff we're not taking out of the ground and making a lot of money and paying off debt and reducing taxes still further, which we were in the process of doing. They want to distract from the real espionage and the real crime, so let's use President Trump to do so. Let's go out and let's indict President Trump so they don't talk about the $5 million bribe. Just yesterday, Senator Grassley revealed that the Burisma executive who allegedly paid the bribe reportedly has Crooked Joe on tape. They have 17 tapes, I understand. That must, he must be a nice guy to deal with, right? The guy from Burisma, nice company. They got him and Hunter on 17 different tapes, supposedly. But the FBI isn't showing them. Remember, they impeached me for asking a simple question about Biden's corrupt dealings in Ukraine. And now they see that, once again, I was right. I was right. I was totally right. <laughs> Joe Biden and the radical left can take foreign bribes and be totally protected. Republicans all, you must finally get tough. You've got to get tough. You've got to get tough, and you've got to show them. When you arrest your leading political opponent, we no longer have a democracy.